Jen. Last week, we drove the famous King Camagas Highway, one of the most scenic roads in America, to see the fall foliage, and stopped at some beautiful overlooks along the route. This week, we're staying at a tiny house on a quaint New Hampshire farm. Follow along as we experience New England farm life and make a couple new friends. Look. Aww. Aww. We're still in New Hampshire and we checked into our next Airbnb last night. We're here for two nights and this is such a cool, unique um, Airbnb because it's a little cottage type house, just like a studio um, with a little kitchenette. And it's out here on this big, gorgeous farm. A cow just mooed, it probably didn't pick up on it on the <laughs> GoPro, but... <clears throat> we didn't add in that sound effect. Yeah, we did not add in that sound effect, but we're... Um, eating breakfast here out on our little patio. Um, farm to table, farm fresh eggs. They have bacon and all that. So it's so cool um, being here, enjoying this breakfast. It's a little bit of a chilly morning, but it's not too bad, mm -hmm. so. And of course we got in here like after dark because it gets dark so early. So we didn't really know what it looked like here, but it's really cute. The trees are, are pretty and you can actually see the mountains like in the distance yeah. with the foliage. So I love our little patio out here. Will made us breakfast and we were going to sit down inside and I opened the door just to kind of check the temperature and it's so nice out here. I was like, let's sit outside and eat. So that's what we're doing. Just kind of taking a look-see around the Tucker's ground at the cows. I don't know what that big dog is, but I do not mm -hmm. like it. We could take a little walk around the farm, Tuck? Yeah, let's go see the cows, Mom. Yeah. Are those cows or big dogs? I don't know. This is the little carts they have so you could take your luggage from your car. You see this, this area where they have these little cabins is kind of still a work in progress. They're still finishing the landscaping. So um, they don't want like cars driving on this dirt yet till they get it probably all like paved or gravel. Um, so we parked up here and then they had these little luggage carts to take your stuff over. But this area is so cute. Like I can tell it's not perfect yet, but it's going to be really, really cute once they um, finish all the landscaping and everything. And, um, and then you get like a nice little like unique farm stay experience. They have greenhouses to check out. We're going to go say hi to the cows. I think there's pigs somewhere. So um, the Airbnb host messaged us that like we could there's a one of these is a tomato house which these look like tomatoes but i don't know if these are the ones that she would want us to pick they look really little yeah so there might be another house but she said we can pick tomatoes they already gave us um left eggs and <coughs> fresh eggs and bacon, and bacon yeah that's what uh, we made that some eggs this morning which was well i didn't have any because i don't like eggs <laughs> were they good oh they were delicious farm fresh eggs are always the best i know and then um so we'll see, we're gonna walk to uh, some of the greenhouses and then say hi to the animals. Cool. I really wanna find the pigs. Aww. The pigs are so cute. That's what I have for breakfast. Aww. <laughs> so, I, I don't know if there's actually any good time. tomatoes for picking. She kind of said this year they've been working on the cottages, yeah. so they haven't had a lot of time for the, the gardening. Still but pretty good. Yeah. Oh, but there's a farm stand up. Um, so also the cool thing is they do pizza nights here, which I think is just like a local community thing where people come. I think come. so, yeah. And um, we actually arrived last night and one was going on. So we were a little confused because like all, there were cars all over the place here. Yeah. I'm like, what if they run like a used car a lot? <laughs> but uh, yeah, everyone was like up near their like main farmhouse. Yep playing and, music yeah and i guess cooking pizza in it. yeah they have like a pizza oven so it's i don't cool. know we're only here for one more night so we probably, probably if we it. should have done the one last night if we were I gonna know. do it but but um we're gonna walk up because i think over up at the farmhouse they have a little farm stand with stuff that you cool. can get sounds good you want to go see hi to the cows yeah here? let's go over here oh there's the pigs i saw them oh, there's the pigs Hello. Oh, 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 hi. 
cooking available in the large parking lot on Squam Lake Road. I don't well. know. That's and a big ass thing. Is prohibited during the you fair. Pet the fair organizers are asking you not to bring your pets. Service animals are the exception. Hi. Don't forget, too, there's a lot of going on now. Oh, at 2 p.m. Go to any What's other name? for information. It's Joyce with WSB. I'm going to call it Stop. <laughs> I'm going to call you Eugene. Eugene. You look like a Eugene. <laughs> oh, <laughs> dirty news. Look at this cow. That one's mean mugging me. What'd you say? That one cow. Is that a bull? It looks like it has horns. Yes, sir, yeah. That one's mean mugging me. <laughs> hey guys. You guys are quite noisy. What you doing? You guys just chilling and eating? they're saying to each other I don't know. look they're like corralling together like they're like talking look they're like calling them out there oh wow they, they literally are. called them out there what the heck that is cool Tucker the people think animals don't communicate they are so wrong oh well there's a whole field out here with a lot of cows they were so calling them out there that is so cool there they go. There they go. They're like, oh, oh, he just fed them. Oh. So I wonder if they sensed that he was feeding them or if the other cow was like, hey, we just got food. Right. Our breakfast okay. is here. Look at them running. Look at that one running for food. <laughs> now I'm curious what these cows are used for. If they're used more, for, like, are they dairy cows or are they mostly just slaughtered? I don't know. It's kind of sad. I'm just happy that they get to live a life here. I know, like, and Will and I try to, like, so we're not, like, vegans or anything, but we do try to, like, focus on getting, like, grass-fed meat and stuff, which is, like, even that, when you buy the grocery store, you still wonder, like, okay, you know, like, you have to be even careful because they'll say, you know, like, like, for chickens, like, cage-free eggs, yeah, and that doesn't always mean that they're, like, out, out and in the open roaming eating, around. Uh, what is it range free range free range yeah that's what it is that means that they're actually yeah but um but we found a farm really close to our house recently and we've just been traveling a lot but we want to get there um because then it's like you can actually see the food you're getting in and i looked at the price it wasn't that much more than the grocery no, store i thought it was cheaper it might have been it up. yeah and you can like pretty much any because they have cows mm. and i think they had chicken too and so. pretty much like you know any cut of steak you yeah. want you can get ground beef so i was like we could we should just buy a bunch and mm. we can freeze, freeze it, it or, and then or we don't just, honestly yeah. it was closer to our house well not than the grocery store but, but it's still pretty close yeah. i'd rather buy from them and support them than like exactly these like you know these farms that are like commercial commercial farms where the animals aren't treated I know. well. I know. So, all right, let's walk up to the farm stand. You ready, Tuck? Oh yeah, so now we're walking up um, kind of to where the main farmhouse is. And this area here is where um, they had the pizza nights last night. So it was really cute. There was actually tons of people here. And we had a little mishap last night because the house, the cabin that we actually rented, we showed up, um, it was kind of just like a self check-in thing. We showed up and we walked up to the house and there was like already people in it. And um, I was like, are you the host? Yeah, we well, thought they were the host. Are the host? <laughs> <laughs> right, so it was like all awkward and like they were already like in the house, like laying in the bed and stuff. You could just tell. So we, um, I, I had to come up, we had to come up to like this area where the host is. And um, she actually moved us to a different house, which we lucked out because the house we're in now is better than the one we had rented. Um, it wasn't our mistake. It was. It was their mistake. We it wasn't we did the host go to either. Well, yeah, it wasn't. It was just like those people had went to the wrong house. But once they were already in, it was like a tough situation. So um, it was kind of like a happy accident because um, or happy mistake because yeah. we actually got a better house and yeah. we have a little like nice patio area. So it worked out. But the funny thing is like they were doing this pizza night up here. And like all oh, these people were out here and it didn't seem like like there's we're walking on the driveway right now so we were driving up here but you're not supposed to drive yeah. up here during pizza night so everyone's like looking at us all awkward <laughs> i'm like i don't know what to do <laughs> so here's the little farm stand Let's see they got eggs honey honey oh that would be good spicy garlic some fresh flowers oh those are cute 
Oh, look, they got frozen meat oh. inside, Will. I know, look. You would like this. What is it? Spicy garlic. Ooh. Ooh. Yes. I do. I love garlic. You, you better like it. <laughs> That's not for the fin of hot. What'd you say? Not for the fin of hot. Oh, yeah, the spicy garlic. Hi, baby. Oh, 7,000 bucks right up there in that field. Hey, knock it off. <laughs> Daisy, don't do that. Hi, oh, sweetie. So, you're, are you Melissa? What are you? No, I'm Stop. Jen. Jen? Yeah. Hank. Nice well, to meet you. Well. So we were just talking with the um the farmer here. What's his name, Hank? I think it's I Hank. I think so. And um we actually decided so they have frozen meats here you can get. So we're gonna get some stuff out now to put in our fridge and we'll grill tonight. Yeah. Because they have a little like grill that everyone can use. But um he was kinda telling us just about the farm and everything. So it's all nothing is like um for dairy or anything like that. It's all just for meats. They got a cool chicken set up. They raise all their own um, cows and pigs. And guess where the pigs actually are born? He has a farmer friend. Oh, really? Yeah, guess where they're born? Where? Maryland. Are they really? Yeah. I didn't hear that. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. So he gets so, them at eight weeks old. Oh, okay. Yeah. I wonder why they're not born. It just he just want to have a whole like a breeding set up. I guess. Probably. Yeah. Like there's probably farmers that just specialize in like breeding them. Right. And right. Them. <clears throat> so. We're definitely doing like good farm to table tonight. Oh yeah. We're gonna just like, well, so we'll have the meat. Will's gonna do pork chops. I'm doing some like chicken thigh and legs. And um, yeah. we'll pick up some veggies when we're in town. So here's the main farmhouse where they live. And look at that cute little old tractor. Tucker made a couple friends with those two doggies, didn't you? Did you make friends? Tucker loves it here, don't ya? Somebody likes being on a farm. I know, right? We found the chicken place. Look at all those chickens. Look at all those chickens. Tucker has to be on a leash for this part so he doesn't try to corral all these chickens. Well, I think he said what he was more worried about is him getting shot by the electric Oh yeah, there's an electric fence. Yeah, we don't want any electrocutions happening today. No fried dogs. No fried doggies, no hot dogs. This farm gets prettier at every turn. Go ahead. Come on. Come on Tuck. Well, don't be a chicken. Come on. Do, should we put you over there with those chickens? <laughs> you wanna go over there? No, come on. Let's go. Good boy. Uh, no. I'll, talk talk a, talk a I'll put you over there. <laughs> Where come the on. chickens belong. Tucker, come on, let's go. <gasps> Good, Good boy. boy. Good boy, Tuck. Don't get in. Good boy, Chuck. And Tucker used to have a lot of problem with water, and he's definitely getting better. Oh yeah, you doing okay? Yeah. I'm okay. more worried about you. Okay, no, no, stop. No, what? Stop. You're sinking it. You are. <laughs> because the end just floats. <laughs> it's just going further and further down into the water. Okay, hold on. That is what I... See, I didn't think of this much. <gasps> careful, careful, careful. Oh, it lifted up there. It's not actually attached there. So you You're right, down. yeah. <laughs> You're almost all wet. I really did. I thought I was going to fall. I know. <laughs> If you guys are interested in staying at this Airbnb, I'll put a link down below. Um, it is still in progress, but I think literally within the next couple of weeks, they'll have all the landscaping done and it'll be super nice to stay here. I think you'll be able to pull your car right up to the house. Um, and this is just so pretty. Now in the winter, of course, it's like pretty closed off here. Um, but if you guys want somewhere to, um, 
to stay when you come next fall. The nice thing is Lincoln and Conway are very, very busy um, during the fall season. All the leaf peepers are here. Um, but this is kind of like out of the main city areas and so it's just really calm. You have a little bit more drive to things, but I think it's worth it to be able to stay here. We're about to check out of our, our farm, little farm cottage. Oh, I'm gonna miss my friends. I know, so this is Hector and this is Daisy. They live here and they've been like hovering at our cottage like all morning because we they know Made that we mistake. give them treats. Giving them treats, not they, the mistake, they're so cute. They, they come um they come by because they know they get the food with us, yeah. yeah look at Tucker. And Tucker's, Tucker, you wanna say bye to Hector? Say bye. These two have become friends. Aww. There's a little bit of a power struggle, but they still want to be friends. Look at this. Aww. <laughs> bye, Hector. Say bye to Hector, Tug. Tucker, say bye, Hector, friend. Say bye. Mm, you say two are bye. cuties. Give him a kiss. Give him kisses. <laughs> Look. Aww. Aww. Okay, Tug. <laughs> Come on, Hector. Hector whines so much. Say bye, guys. Aw. Oh, you're very vocal, huh? Yeah. Okay, Hector. Come on, buddy. Aw. All right, okay. come on, Tucker. We gotta get going, okay? We gotta go see our grandparents. Yeah. They're waiting for you in Vermont. All right, come on. Watch your nose. Watch your nose, Tuck. So, um, we're checking out, and then where are we heading now? Well, we're gonna head to Stowe, but we have a stop along the way, right? Yeah, we're gonna do um, a little oh, hike. hike. Yeah, because yesterday we decided just to stay here and chill because um, yeah. the hike we, the little hike we wanted to do was like already on the way. Yeah. So it just made sense to just wait till this morning. Um, so we're gonna miss this little farm. This has been so much fun. It has. It's and, been so um, cool, the farm life. I know. I'm gonna, they just started this too, so I'm gonna um, put a link to the Airbnb so if people yeah. are coming to New Hampshire, it's kind of like the end of, kind of reaching the end of the season right but um i i know they're gonna be so the guy that um the farmer here he used to be a master landscaper yeah. right and he said he's gonna make this so nice so um i'm sure by next summer and fall this will be even oh, nicer yeah. here yeah so yeah they, they said they're not gonna rent them over winter just because they're really they they like moved them here they're small they're you know i think they're kind of designed to be moved every now and then yeah. not like super permanent they're not on so like a not, solid foundation right? exactly so they're not like super insulated and stuff yeah. so he's gonna have to shut water off and yeah. all that but by next spring oh and yeah summer and fall i think this place will be gorgeous yes and it's hard to see on the camera but just sitting outside your window there's a beautiful view of the mountains yeah so it's so cool i know we really enjoyed our time here yeah it's actually like really refreshing compared to mm -hmm. and just and just like being able to like take a breather and relax here and exactly. everything it's been so nice but um now we're heading to vermont which i'm so excited for so am i and, let's go uh, my parents are meeting us there so that yeah. should be a fun next few days so. yep all right ready talk ready 